G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of U-Boat on U-552. It's the 11th of July 1941 and we're leaving the port of Wilhelmshaven in Germany. We have been tearing it up in the last couple of episodes, earning ourselves 60,000 and 70,000 plus on both outings, so hopefully we're going to continue that today. We do have our snorkel installed now on the boat, so we are going to be heading through the English Channel and out towards the west coast of the UK. Hopefully we're going to pick ourselves up some larger convoys and being able to stay underwater should hopefully give us a good opportunity to try and exceed the 70,000 mark today. That's what we're hoping for. So a quick map check and our patrol area is actually just in the English Channel with a little bit of it being just off the southwest coast there of the UK. So just outside the happy place. I don't know why the tonnage has not been going up for the happy place because that's where we've been doing all of our sinking. Unless it is just that specific one square. But we're going to head through the channel today. And we have the snorkel so we can just stay underwater the whole time. But there will be a lot of patrol in this area. So we do have to be careful. We don't have any decoys. So if we get into trouble it's not going to be a good ending for us. It's a little bit early in the campaign for us to be trying to die. So we want to try and survive this for as long as possible and hopefully we'll make it out through the other side. Um, intelligence has told us that there is a battleship spotted in the area so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for us but if we come across it definitely going to try and take it down. It's been too long we haven't achieved that as of yet in this game. Okay so here we are in the channel and we have hydrophone contact of a group of four to nine ships so we have to have a look at this because everything else we've seen so far has just been one to three which are small patrols so four to nine might be something a little bit more substantial it doesn't look like it's going to be a group of freighters so far we've got a ship here an enemy destroyer so let's just take a look and it's the Nelson hello I have not been able to find you for three or four campaigns now so we are definitely going to try and take some shots at this but we do have to be very careful because escaping is not going to be easy there's not much depth here in the English Channel so they are on a heading of 80 degrees Northwest, so we take that away from 360, so that leaves us with 280 as they're heading, and we will try and close the gap here a little bit, and we will suss out a solution and hopefully earn ourselves our biggest kill to date. I've been trying to find this thing in game for so long now in every campaign, and I've just never found it. Every time it says the Nelson was spotted here somewhere, I've never found it. So here we are. Right in front of us, we have the mighty Nelson. So let's see if we can get her into our sights. There's no escort with it that I can see at the moment, but there must be because it says four to nine ships. So we won't be trying to take any of the escorts if there are. We just want to focus on getting the Nelson. She's going to use up most of our torpedoes, certainly all the ones that we have loaded at the moment. There she is, majestic beast. 280 is our heading. So let's punch that in. We can recognize her. Now she does have a funny name in the game. It's, it's the Nelson on the manual here, but it's actually called the Royal Oak, which is a little bit confusing if you're trying to recognize it and don't know that. So there we go, she's well within torpedo range, now we just need a speed and I'm assuming that I should probably go overboard with the torpedoes and we should just send everything that we can at it. I've seen other people sink it in game and it does take a few torpedoes, I don't know if we'll get lucky with three so I'm thinking we'll send all four torpedoes and hopefully that's going to do the damage and if it doesn't well, I don't think we're going to have an opportunity to deck gun this thing down in the English Channel. We might have to come back and use a fifth torpedo if necessary. 
but I'm hoping that she's going to go down just for the four torpedoes. Certainly leave her dead in the water at least, I would say. So she's doing ten knots through the channel. So we are going to flood one through four. And we want everything hitting this. Hopefully no duds. Like I said, we're not going to be able to use a deck gun here. So tubes one through four are flooded and ready to go. So let's fire them away. We go for massive strikes. Every one of them is a hit. That's great stuff for us. Let's just see. It says minimal damage and serious damage. Only about 60% health taken away. So not quite as much as I would have liked initially. Hopefully it's going to go down, but I can't be sure. Listing slightly to starboard. Again, not as much as I would have been expecting after four torpedoes. I'm hoping that it's going to really start to take on a lot more water than that. And she still looks like she's powering on though. Ah, so it's the Rodney. It's not the Royal Oak, it's Rodney. It's a bit confusing with the name there. Oh, it looks like she's listing a lot more now. So I think we'll just watch her for a, a few minutes and see what's going to happen. Uh, our main priority is obviously going to be escaping because we are not going to make it out of here alive without avoiding these escorts that are going to come for us. And she's got a little bit of extra damage happening though, which is good for us. And she looks like she has come to a stop here in the channel. So we might have to try some evasive maneuvers because these other destroyers and whatnot are going to be coming right for us. There we go, 99% damage. Can she take on the water and we don't have to come back? That's really what we're hoping. Like I say, we're going to get on the move, try and evade some of these destroyers, and if she's still sitting here, then we'll have to come back and probably launch a fifth torpedo just to seal the deal. But so far, so good. Couldn't be happier with the strike, but... Like I say, main priority is actually trying to get out of here alive now. We're not going to get much credit for this anyway. Okay, I'm just going to chuck a few markers down on the map here while we try and make an escape away from this destroyer that's heading towards us. And we will just keep an eye on the Rodney's health there, just in case. They are pegging us now, so I don't know if we're going to actually be able to make a run from this. I really hope we can. She's kind of still in range for a fifth torpedo, but we might get unlucky and strike a destroyer here. So I think the best bet's probably just going to be to just keep punching forward, try and stay away. They're pinging us pretty hard. So we might have to just ditch down to the seabed here and sit down on the seabed at a complete stop and just hope for the best that they don't pick us up on their sonar but they are pinging hard and they are on the move right now for us so we should just crash dive right down as deep as we can go I'm not sure how deep the channel is here and I'm expecting a few runs of depth charges here but I'm hoping that we can make a we'll just keep turning left turning right maybe try and move forward a little bit and we're just gonna have to hope for the best here depth charges are in the water
Well, so far so good. Seem to have managed to evade one destroyer, but we've got three more coming right at us, so similar thing. But I think we should just stop here now, because those depth charges would have disrupted the hydrophones for them. They're still pinging. There's still depth charges in the water, though. So I'm hoping maybe we can just sit still and we might be able to just make a break away for it once they've done their run. But I'm not sure if they're actually going to get us or not, so time will tell. Okay, we've been down here for quite some time now, and it looks to me like they're bombing the wrong area of the water, so I think our escape has been made good. Well, we are just going to sit tight for a few more minutes. Still depth charges going off somewhere, but they're not really lighting us up, so they must be quite far away. They're probably still bombing the last known area we were in, which is not very far away from where we are, but it's just far enough that we're not in any bother. Yep, so they are still widespread around us. So we'll have to sit tight for a little bit. But this guy's coming right over the top of us. But undetected we remain, which is good. So let's just hope that they're all going to disperse any moment now. Looks like they're just running around in circles trying to find us. So if they start going a little bit wider than this, then we can maybe get a move. Which is kind of what we really need. They are still circling. So they're all heading off to the northwest now, which is great news for us. Apart from this one straggler here. Do not ping us, please. It would be such a shame if he was to find us at the last second now. So I think once he gets away we can start making a move back for the Nelson and get that last torpedo fired away. Well it's safe enough to assume that we're on our own out here now and the Nelson is just a little bit right to the back of the boat here. We're going to be launching tube number five away. So we have to go through the whole process here. She is obviously doing zero knots. Course is still 280. And distance, well that might be a tricky one. I think we might do that from the map reading there. It's just about three kilometers roughly. We can punch in three on the machine and it should just, wouldn't really matter if she was at four or five, it would just head towards her. So tube number five, hopefully a good strike and hopefully going to clean the job up for us here. And that will be the end of the Nelson. Tube 5 away. Well, we got the hit. Let's hope that that's going to flood the rest of the boat up for us. She looks like she is in very bad condition. Would not take much to tip her over the edge, I'm sure. This fifth torpedo must do it for us. There is ships around, but we, um, we don't want to be trying to 
have to wrestle around again. We just survived a massive onslaught of depth charges. We don't want to have to deal with that again. If we had decoys, this would be easy, but we don't have those, so we've got to be very careful. But she is taking her sweet time. It doesn't look like torpedo number five is going to have done the work here for us. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Did not want to have to do this, but it's going to be a deck gun finish here. I don't want to be launching more torpedoes because we still have shipping to try and take down at the end of this. But we don't want to leave without taking down the Nelson first, and I think we're in a good spot here where we can get a few shots away. There's no boats around us in the channel right now, so that just gives us this little window. So hopefully... I mean, that's full damage and full flooding, so that should be enough to seal the deal for us. Looks like she is going down. And finally, after God knows how long of trying, I've finally sunk the Nelson. So you better leave a like and a comment on the video for that, because that is a big achievement in the game for me. And I'm sure many of you out there who watch or play know how hard that can be. So we need to get back down to periscope depth. We need to get the hell out of here before any planes or other warships come chasing down. We don't want to be dealing with that right now. We've still got the patrol to do, and we've still got enemy shipping to sink. And I think this little corner over here is going to be our little safe haven to do our patrol. And maybe we can pick up some convoys just outside the patrol area there. Okay, we've got an important message coming on the radio here. Well, better get our radio man onto the radio station so we can have a look. A very valuable radar prototype is being transported to the port of Gibraltar on the AUN or AUN. I don't know how to say that. But they are heading towards Gibraltar, so we know that that's down to the south, and they are right next to us almost, so perfect position for us to plot an interception course. We better erase that mark actually if we're going to zoom in. Put a new one down and we'll start plotting their course and hopefully we'll intercept them very soon. They are. It's going to be quite an easy interception. Close enough to us, so let's get on to that. Okay, so here we are. We have them in our sight now and there is the AUN, A U N, flying a Norwegian flag even. I think they're supposed to be an ally of Germany, but that's what it is. They're carrying the goods. And we've got a Corvette as well on the near side. What else have we got here? No, we do not want to be intercepting that. We stay right where we are. And we have a Swiss Empire as well. well we can't really do anything with that. So let's just let them move in. And I think the best bet's probably going to be try and take the Corvette down. So far, what we can see is deck gun worthy. So let's just have a look at that through the periscope. It looks like we've zoomed into the max here, so let's zoom right out. It should be somewhere over here. There's our Corvette flower class. Let's punch that in. Recognize you as a flower class Corvette. Course is 214 distance looks pretty far away at the moment we can let it close in though yes it's just over six kilometers away so i think we'll let that move in a little bit closer and we will as well and then we'll get a proper reading for the speed and i'm not sure if that's going to be the speed for the whole convoy or just her okay we've got a destroyer in front of it and another at the back Okay, so this could be a little change of tactic here. Not sure wasting a torpedo on this Corvette will be worth it, but we will take a speed reading anyway. So let's just make sure we've got good zoom. And pass through the front of our stopwatch, start the clock there. Just a small ship, so it won't take long to figure out the speed. Hopefully she's not doing too much different to the rest of the convoy so eight knots for you that seems a little bit fast uh, next target 
Well, there's a nice big C3 there, but there's also a destroyer. And I think this destroyer is surely going to be number one target. So, four funnels. Town class. 214. Distance should be within range, and this will be a definite strike. And we will do a quick speed check on her as well. And we'll stop the clock there. Nine knots, okay. So it's different to the Corvette. Seems a little bit fast for a convoy. Is there anything else that we can see? There's another destroyer right in the distance. A couple of them are by the looks of things. Well, we don't want to be going shooting too far, obviously. So I think I might reassess because I'm not convinced by the speed of that destroyer. So I think I might reevaluate that. We'll just move in a little bit, keep moving in a bit closer, or we'll let them get closer. And we will just double check the speed because we do not want to miss. We are low on torpedoes now. The Nelson chewed up most of them. So let's do a quick reassessment. And if it's all good, we'll fire straight away on this destroyer. And clock, stop clock there. Nine knots it is. So tube one and tube two just to make sure we do the job properly. And this should open up the convoy quite nicely for us and hopefully give us an opportunity at that C3 behind it. Tube one and two away. There we go, two good hits on the town class there. Looks like it's going to be more than enough to do the job, but we have to be short. And she is straight down. Now that is going to give us a good opening for the convoy now. So evasive maneuvers to avoid any warships that are coming our way. And we will pick up the convoy again once they've all calmed down. And we'll pick ourselves another target. Well, we're back with them. And there is another destroyer which we need to take care of because that is going to cause us problems and getting rid of the destroyers just opens up the rest of the convoy for easy attacking and then you don't have to worry about being attacked after that so we need to recognize this thing and it's kind of at a really bad angle for us to actually have a look at it, it kind of looks like one of these with the single funnel Kind of got a flat bridge top as well. And just the one flag at the front. So it kind of looks like... I don't really know the name of it, to be honest. B-Class, don't know. Let's have a look at it from the side here. So it's got a flat top. It's got two funnels, actually. It's got a massive turret at the back. And it's got what looks like a big searchlight right in the middle so let's go back to this so it was a it's kind of like a skinny funnel then a fat funnel at the back with a flat top on it for the bridge a big cannon at the back and something funky in the middle like a searchlight or something I'm not too sure really bad at recognizing these different destroyers there's so many of them EF is definitely not not an EF not one of those not a tribal B class skinny fat big cannon something funny in the middle I suppose we could just go with that let's have a little bit of a look it's got the thing right at the front of the boat pointing up as well so I'd say we'll go with that so same course as before distance wise hopefully within range of a torpedo as it is and a quick speed check just to make sure and see if we can get rid of this thing and start moving in on some freighters 
and we'll stop the clock right there seven knots and we better start moving forward because we're already kind of at the edge of our range of torpedo uh, we'll just double check that we're happy with the solution V class yeah I'm pretty happy with that uh, one torpedo should do it this time hopefully it's not gonna be underkill but the last one kind of felt like overkill so tube one fire it away Well, there we go, another good strike with the torpedo, big fire on the decks, 100% damage, and hopefully flooding as well. So we're actually doing quite well in terms of sinking today, but all we've sunk so far is destroyers. We haven't got many torpedoes left, and we still have quite a li little bit to achieve. We need to sink the AUN, and we also need to sink quite a few thousand tons of shipping, so... We'll don't know how many more destroyers we can pick off like this but it is important to get rid of them because we got the deck gun available we can always pick targets with that the unarmed ones but we need to stay alongside the convoy for now might have to pick off another destroyer or two and then hopefully that's just gonna leave it all open for us to get all the damage done with the deck gun and any remaining torpedoes that we may have all right, we are back with them. Now, as you can see, there is a destroyer and a freighter leading the way. And there is that Swiss ship that we want nothing to do with today. So we will just have a quick look, but I think we should try and take down the destroyer. And then that might open this lead ship up, which I believe still to be the one we need to sink. Now we're actually looking through the wrong periscope here. We want the attack one. Yeah, that, if we take out this destroyer, that should open up the rest of the convoy. And if that's our target ship at the front, then we could surface up and use the deck gun to take care of that. And that will at least achieve that mission. And if we have to, we could disengage from this convoy. And we could just try and find lone merchants that are sailing around. And try and get our tonnage that way but it would be nice to try and dismantle as much of this convoy as possible. So this is another destroyer, four funnels again. So it'll be another town class. Course, still the same, 214. Uh, she is, seems to be quite far away, but we might be able to just about get a reading for the speed. I can hardly see the front of the ship here though, but we'll try our best. Okay, so we'll flood tube number five away at this town class. Hopefully it's going to be enough. Last time we fired two and it went down very fast. So it's a little bit tricky to try and get the solution here because of the waves and the distance but we will just double check everything I think the distance is the main thing we want to double check because she was just a couple of hundred meters too far for a torpedo so we'll just have a quick look and if it's within 5,000 then we can fire it away tube number five away And there we go, another destroyer down, or at least damaged. Yep, fully, fully damaged, fully flooded, and she goes down. So we need to know that for next time, that a town class only takes the one. So that's perfect, so that's going to open up the convoy for us. Now we're slowly picking off all these escorts, which is going to mean that we kind of just have free range to take whatever we want after this. Now what's this thing over here? It's another destroyer. Well, we don't really want to be tangling with it right now. So we'll just try and let that run. Yeah, that's going to go and search for us, I think, on the other side. 
which exposes the side that we want to be on as well. So that's good for us. So let's just stick with them. Okay, most of the destroyers are well out of our way now. So we will fire a torpedo away at this ship. I believe this is our target, the AUN. And I think it's just important that we just get rid of it with the with a torpedo. Or at least strike it with a torpedo because there's a few more destroyers in here than I thought. And we don't have enough torpedoes to take care of everything. And there's also some C3s that they're armed. So let's just recognize this right now. This looks like an Empire Bell. Empire... Yeah, I think it's an Empire Bell. Yeah, definitely Empire Bell. So we'll recognize that. Get a distance check. It's a little bit bumpy out here. So distance checks are not actually as accurate as would like them to be. Which is just a little bit out of range for a torpedo as it is right now. And our speed is seven knots, so that's all good. Now distance, I do want to double check because of the waves and that. So that's saying it's just about 4,800, 4,900 meters. And the ship tool is telling us it's about 500 meters more. So I don't know which one to trust. We'll just keep double checking and we'll try and move in a little bit closer. Yeah, so that still is over 5Ks, but it's definitely not over 5Ks. So we'll get a bit closer. Make sure we see the seal the deal on this one and get her down. That's the target. And then hopefully we could probably try and pick something else off in this convoy as well. Just need to get 10,000 tons, which isn't too much. If we get this ship and one big ship more, then that'll be that. So let's again do another distance check. See these waves are riding quite high. So it's not easy to get a good reading. But there we go, 4,100. So she is ready for a torpedo. Hopefully one will do the job. And if it doesn't, hopefully it leaves it dead in the water and we can just clean it up a little bit later. So we'll send tube 3. Fire that away. Okay, we've got a good hit there. Hopefully it's going to be enough. There's no fire on board, but it might do the damage that we want. <laughs> okay, it's done barely anything. How can that be the case? How can one torpedo sink a destroyer straight away and one torpedo does, what, 15-20% damage on a, <laughs> on a freighter? That doesn't make any sense. But hopefully it gets worse, I suppose, as the time goes on. But we will just keep stalking. Don't really want to be wasting too many torpedoes with this one. We want to aim for some larger targets. So I think we'll just stalk this and see what's going to happen with it. And we'll try and clean it up soon. Okay, we're kind of at a point where the convoys split off into a couple of smaller groups. And I believe that the target ship here is heading off somewhat on its own. So we are going to give chase for that and we are going to try and finish that off for the deck gun before we aim for any more ships with the torpedoes. I don't see why it's heading off by itself right now. It's already damaged, you would think it would want to stay with some support. But we're not going to let that stop us. So we're going to get right alongside it and grab our deck gun. And she's already damaged, like I said, so she shouldn't take too many more shots to put her down. It would help if we had the damage bar up so we can see what we are doing to it as it goes. So let's send her down to the bottom. Deck. 
Okay, mission accomplished. So the ship goes down with the technology. And here we go, we have some passengers with an officer as well. So we will take that. And we might as well fill the boat up with other sailors that we can take. All extra credit at the end of the day when we get back to port. So we'll take all of those. I did take the officers, didn't I? No, I didn't. So we will try and take those. There we go. So now let's see what else we can go and pick up with the rest of the convoy. Now that they're split up into smaller groups, should be some easy pickings for us, I hope. Okay, we've got ourselves a lone freighter here. We've given up on the previous convoy because there's just too many armed ships around with it and we don't have the gear to take it down. But here we have a lone British Empire. So we will surface up the boat and do what we do best with the deck gun. Get rid of that and that's going to go somewhat towards our 10,000 tons. And then we really just need to get one more after this and that should be mission accomplished. We obviously can't go home without doing our 10,000 tons. So we'll fire this down with the deck gun and then we'll continue on and hopefully we'll be able to pick ourselves up a few more lone empires somewhere along the way. Well, there we go. That looks like another freighter going down. She will burn herself out and slip beneath the waves, and that should just about be our total tally. Yeah, we just need one more ship, and that'll be mission complete for us. So we'll finish up the patrol and see if we can pick up another ship or two. Okay, so we've got ourselves a little convoy here, and we've got a couple of torpedoes left in the hold, so we may as well just try and get rid of those, and that'll give us a few more tons. Now, there's not really an ideal target. We would like a C3 or a Liberty or something, or a tanker. Well, there's a Liberty, but to get within range of that's going to be a bit of a uh, trouble here, so we'll try and just use torpedo and probably just go straight for one of those empires so angle is fairly simple I like it when it's on a clockwise rotation because it's just straightforward there you don't have to try and take it away from 360 maths is not too sharp when I'm trying to do that but good opportunity here to send off one or two of our last torpedoes I think pretty much after this it's going to be time to return to base unless we can find another lone ship somewhere but we don't want to be wasting torpedoes on destroyers we want to take names here so this looks like it's going to be the one to go for and that looks like an empire explorer to me and angle is 73 distance are you within 5k's you should be you are so quick speed check and she should be good and hopefully gonna go straight down to the bottom and 
stop the clock there. Six knots, perfect. So we've got three torpedoes left. We'll send two just to steal the deal. Don't have time to play around and there's no opportunity here for deck gunning. So tube one and two. We'll just do a quick distance check just to double check. And fire away. There we go, another two good hits and confirmation that we have achieved the 10,000 tons. So we're just over 10,000. The front end has fallen off. So she is going straight down. There we go, front end's down already. And the back end is following. Perfect, good strike there. Don't often see the front end fall off the boat. But it's nice to see when it does, so that's good news. She's down. So we must be up to around about 12, 13,000 tons. Not really that much, but obviously we did use all of our torpedoes on the Nelson. So now we're going to have to try and have a little bit of cat and mouse here. To make sure that we've got an escape. And it looks like we've got a lone freighter or something off to our southeast. So we'll try and get away from all of this. And I think we'll move on towards that and hopefully that's not flying a neutral flag. And that might be something else that we can try and attack. If it is, we're definitely going to try and take it down obviously because it's a numbers game out here and we want larger numbers. As well as taking down the Nelson, it would be nice to go home with a decent haul of um, freight as well. So we will close in on that see what it is and if it's worthy of an attack then we will and if it's not then we'll probably just cruise on back and get our stuff reloaded ready for the next outing Well, there we go. Another British Empire goes down in flames as well. So hopefully that flooding should just about take care of itself now. Pumped her full of lead. So she should go down fairly rapidly. But that's probably going to be about it for us today. I don't think we've really got time to be running around just trying to deck gun things. And we've used up more or less. We've got one torpedo left. So been a good day really we've managed to sink a few ships and of course we've taken down the Nelson today as well Alright, we're back in on the 26th of July, so really just a couple of weeks out on the sea, and Otto gets himself a couple of medals, good for him. He's actually been on the periscope quite a lot today because we uh, haven't swapped him out for our engineer who did the, peri uh, the snorkel, so I need to remember to do that now that we're back on shore, and the captain gets a new medal. And we are quite progressed up to the next one too, so good good stuff. 
Now we haven't even been recognized for sinking the Nelson there. They're all about the freighters at the BDU. But we did sink 20,000 tons, which is not bad going really. I mean it's not 70,000, but considering half of our torpedoes took the Nelson, I'd say we've done quite well there. A lot of destroyers and not many freighters, but not a bad outing at all. Well that's it for this week's episode guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Big credit to me for taking down the Nelson, I hope you enjoyed that. Leave a like and a comment on the video, and don't forget to subscribe. So hopefully you've enjoyed it, happy Easter, and I'll catch you up in the next episode.